What's going on guys, your boy Turbo Reacts here, back at it again with another episode of Ping Pong, the animation. Today we're going to be doing episode 6. Guys, somebody hyped me up for this episode on the last comment, a comment that I saw. They were like, yo, can't wait for you to see episode 6, man. It's going to be good. And somebody has warned me about Peko. Is Peko coming back? Is he, is he coming back with that fire? Because as you guys know, you know, I made a comment in the last video saying what a waste of talent he is. Um, and it's not really my intention to, you, you know what I'm saying, to put him down. You know what I'm saying? If I did that, I don't think I did that. It's just the way how he's acting, he's gotten fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's gotten fat. He got a tan now. So it's just like I thought he, you know, and he and he threw his paddle away, right? So I thought, you know, he gave up or something. But we got to talk about our boy, Mr. Smile Man, with the savagery in episode five. That was so. That was some classic stuff. I love seeing that stuff. I love when people know who they are because you know he's working hard. He's talented. He knows who he is. He knows Kazuma wants him um, to come to their school. Kayo, I think, is the name of their school. Um, so he knows that. So he knows he's talented, and his coach is working him to the bone, man, working him to the bone. And you can see the improvement when he played against dude that got kicked off the team and stuff at the end of the episode. Um, I, I don't remember his name already. I think it's Sakuma. Sakuma? I think it's Sakuma, his name is. I don't I don't remember exactly, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The guy with the weird ass, uh, what is it, astigmatism? That, that's not no astigmatism. That shit, the guy's eyes is like this, bro. Like, it's weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, so he's, he got fed up. He's like, yo, I've always beaten you. Why did it have to be you that get this good? You know what I'm saying? But with the savageness of Mr. Smile, he looks at him and he says, you just don't have <laughs> no talent for table tennis. That's all there is to it. Savage lines, bro. Savage lines. Love Mr. Smile so much. Um, he's definitely my favorite character in the show so far. Um, Kazuma. Kazuma is... Mm, I want to say he's my second favorite in 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 the story so far because he's an interesting character from last episode you got to see a lot more about him than usual you know what i'm saying his relationship with the with the coach and stuff like that the ultimate respect that he has even though he know he's that good you know what i'm saying for his superiors he have the utmost respect for them um i ha i'm in no doubt that the coach um is the one that got him to where he is now where he can will win, win in in you know in, in the world olympics or whatever um so he's one of the best in the world um so if that's what they're building up to at the end of the season um i'm all for it for him to go up against this i want to see that match dragon versus the robot let's get it you know what i'm saying i'm ready for it so we're gonna jump into the, this reaction man episode six you got me hyped for the episode Okay, so let's do this, man. Let's go. Let's go watch this episode. And I'll see you guys for the review. Whether you watch it here on YouTube, BitChute, or, you know what I'm saying, if you want to go watch a full reaction on BitChute or on the Google Drive, or if you just want to watch it here on YouTube, that's fine, too. Uh, um, as I said, it's way more cut up, um, a lot more. Might bring you probably like 10 minutes of the episode on YouTube, but the full episode Full reaction will be on the Google Drive and on BitChute, okay? So thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terrible Reacts. I'll see you guys for the review, all right? Tete ドラゴンも一目置いてるらしいしな。そんなやつと当たりたくねえわ。マッチ<笑><笑><笑> 
充電完了かい<笑>ミスターロボット I feel sorry for anybody that plays against this guy. What? Today's Kazama was cool, huh? That's all you got to care about, isn't it? Sanada got run out, then the team is all over the place. I always got to be busy, Rotai. You're the captain of the team, isn't it? トレーニングの効果を考えればその方がいいし実力向上が望めると思います間違ってますか僕の話生後性の問題じゃねえのムカつくのお前それからこの粗悪なボールなんだ今度はブレの少ない硬質なものに変えてくれるよう頼みましたよねああそれな今は注文してんだうん先週も同じこと言ってましたよつきまたーハロー、エブリバディ、集合したかねカムヒア、ミスター・ツキモト、レッツラン。はい。死ぬまで走ってる。二度と帰ってくんな、卓球バカコンビ。<笑>よう、キャプテン。おお、キャプテン。何着ててもその髪型でわかるな。うっせ。<笑>家の手伝いの帰りなんですけど、あの、ツキモト浮いちゃってるんですけど。あいつうまいんだしさ浮いてていいんじゃねはあ卓球で飯食ってくようなやつと高校生活を彩るための部活をやってる俺らが噛み合うわけないじゃんじゃあ頑張れよ俺予備校だからこの中国の選手を幼くこの頃マットの上で練習し国際大会は全てマットの上で行われる。そして我が海王の練習場の床にもマットがあるなぜか海王が世界水準であるからだ世界初のマット専用シューズを皆に支給するおりがとうございます勝つためにだ勝利で返せ世界で勝てお,おはーい何やってるかそれ練習違うねこんこれやる違う。私なんか言うか木村。サービス練習やる。だ。これやる三十年早いよ。三十世紀じゃん。木村、サービス上手くなれば良い選手になる。本当よ。マジ。俺の子見て打てる？それない。みんな休憩終わり。練習練習練習。Wow, he's actually speaking fluent Japanese in a way. どうだよ俺様のカット独学にしちゃ様になってんだろうがよ大したもんだ恐れ言ったよ<笑>こんな生クラカットじゃ子供相手にも立ち回れねえことくれ分かってんよ悔いだけは残したくなかったかんよ、うん、集大さらす覚悟で試みてみたのだ<笑>ところが大忍ぶばかりのこの線型は俺の性にまるっきり合わねえと来てる飛べねえ鳥もいるうんお前才能あるんだからよ続けろな卓球誰だあんた<笑>スマイルに吹っ飛ばされた後にないろいろ考えたよ俺様チンピラドついて定額食らって退部して<笑>やつの言う俺の無能を納得するのに時間はかからなかったし受け入れちまえば安心できた見通しも聞いたよ見通し競争原理から離れることで見える景色さお前の卓球センスはズバ抜けてんよ俺が保証する<笑>君悪いこと言うんじゃねえよ鳥肌立つだろうがよ逃げてばっかだと前進まねえぞ惰性で打つなら足洗えってなお前のセリフだよ必死で打てって話だよスマイルに飛ばされたお前に負けたことが俺の現実だよ何にもしねえ現実だろなんでいつも逃げることしかしねえんだよ細胞が壊れていくインパルスがもたつくどうしてそれだけの才能を殺す俺っち昔は強かったのよ俺よか強えやつがいるとは考えたこともなかったしよ
目つぶってラケット振りゃ弾が当たりに来たもんだ空だって飛べた月にタッチして帰ってくるぐらいわけなかったぜ奇跡なんて言葉知らなかったよ俺はお前の才能が欲しかった線型もラケットもフォームも全部お前を真似たでもお前にはなれなかったよおおいいね青いな若者青春だね<笑>クラスのみんなみんなお前に憧れてた俺らにとってお前はお前誰より卓球好きじゃんよ見やがれバカトンそばからてみとい男は<笑>どんどん複雑になってくる感じでスマイルプレイすることで何かを犠牲にしたり花たれの昔上等句だよおばば<笑>鉄終わりだもう何もかも終わりにしてずっと遠く。二度とそんなセリフ口にするな殺すぞ浅瀬で溺れるバカ一人俺が救った天末だお前のお気にすら出ちゃいねえ<笑>続けろ卓球地平ド吐くまで走り込め血便出るまで素振りしろちったは今よか楽になれんぜヒーローさんよおばばあれおばばあおばばあおばばあエコがかっこ悪いの嫌なんだヒーローって信じるおばばこの写真こん時いやいつも卓球やってる時思い出したかい仕分けしてる時出てきたんだよおばばこくんのかい遊びならやめてくれよちげえよマジだっておばばもう一回俺に握り方から教えてくれろバカに構えば日が暮れるってねおばば俺にチャイナ退治させてくれ俺卓球でてっぺん取りてえんだ夢は世界チャンプ半端な覚悟は時間の無駄だよ覚悟しなペコ愛してるぜ<笑> All right, so this episode, I can definitely see why, you know what I'm saying? This seems like a turning point in the anime.、Um, definitely a turning point in the anime of everybody seeing where everybody is at and also the expectancy for the rest of the season now. They set the tone for the rest of the season of what you can expect, and you can speculate a lot, which I'm going to do right now. So let's talk about our boy Peko. They really concentrated on him in the second half of the episode.、Um, just him having that conversation with、um, astigmatism, dude. <laughs> I think his name is Sakuma, right? I, I don't think they said his name, so I couldn't remember in that episode. I think they said it once.、Um, but he came back, talked to Peko, and was like, You quit. You know what I'm saying? You need to understand that this whole time we were admiring you, bro. You said you wanted to be world champ. What happened? You know what I'm saying?、Um, so I'm happy, man. I like, that they, I like that they actually sent Sakuma of all people. As I said, I might be wrong about this name, but that's what I'm calling him right now. Okay.、Um, and it kind of showed, they, they showed off his growth. From him getting kicked off the table tennis for, for beating up some dude in the street. Remember that from last episode? He got kicked off the team. Now he's working construction. So he's had time to reflect. And a lot of times, that's what happened to us in, re in real life, too. Because I'm telling you, like, I've done, I've done stuff that caused and the consequences came. And I still kept blaming other people. But then after years pass, when I look back at it, And I'm like, you know what, man? That was entirely my fault because I'm the one that put myself in that position. I'm the one that made the choice to do that, that led up to that. And it takes maturity to admit that. And, I, 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 and I'm definitely feeling that conversation that he had with Peko. He really, really, you know, told him and said, hey, man, 
you used to look up to you. I modeled everything that I do after you, bro. The way you hold your racket, the way the, everything that you did when it came to table tennis, I admired you so much that I'm basically you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to follow in your full steps. I was trying to achieve your dreams. I mean, your dreams, my dreams. You know what I'm saying? So, he Peko forgot his dreams because he got beat once. I mean, dude, it's a journey. You're not going to win every match you're in. You know what I'm saying? You're just not. You're just not going to win every match that you're in. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Kazuma, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looked like he ditched his girlfriend on Christmas to work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, table tennis is so much more important to him. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do you even have a girl? I don't even think the dad, because the dad is the coach, right? I don't think the coach knows that they're dating. Or maybe he knows and he just doesn't care. Or maybe he's just oblivious to the fact. Who knows? Anyways, but... This they were the highlight of the episode. I'm wondering if the captain of the other team is going to come around at some point. The dude with the crazy hair, um, because you know they kind of showed him a little bit in this episode, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, oh, oh, kind of the way how they were showing him is like, oh, is he gonna start taking table tennis serious? Is is it something he really wants to do? Because his friend is like, no, dude, we're just casuals. They want to make a career out of table tennis. We don't. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's not the way to go. Like, I have this thing about life, man, when it comes down to certain things. It's just that, dude, anything you do, you try to be excellent at it no matter what. Dude, you could be mopping floors. Try to be the best floor mopper of all times. Anything that you do, do it with excellence. Do it to the best of your ability to do it and don't slack off and don't be lazy about it because at the end of the day, you never know what that could take. Somebody could come, see you mopping floors and be like, dude, you know what I'm saying? You know, you want me to, you, to, you want to do business? You know what I'm saying? You know how to do this. You know how to, to run a cleaning, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how to clean stuff. Let's start a company and, and we can teach people how to really clean corporate buildings and stuff like that and start making money. You never know. And that is actually, what I just described is actually a, a story in real life that happened to somebody that I know. Okay, so stuff like that, it, I'm telling you, like, Anything you do, man, do it to the best of your ability. No matter how talented you are, don't mistakenly think that just because you're talented at it, that simply means that there's not going to be any pitfalls or downfall. That's why you keep practicing. Talent is something that you got to work on. You can't just be talented and think that, oh, people are just going to throw money at you because you're because you're talented you get what i'm saying singers they got to be in the studio every day they got to practice they got to hone their voice so that it gets better you get what i'm saying you may have a talent for singing but let me tell you something bro you are a talented singer don't sing for a couple of years and then try to hit a high note i dare you i dare you <laughs> i dare you to stop singing for a while and then try to do the same thing you were doing before there's a you, you guys think that these people a lot of times you see like these singers on tv they're naturally talented at, at, at singing you know what i'm saying and y'all think and if you know the history behind how they continuously get better and better and better and better and better over time and you think oh they're just talented they're making records they're making hit songs no man it takes a lot of practice they put in a lot of time you know what i'm saying so talent is something you have but it has to be worked on so that it can be even better and and that's the thing that i love about this anime it's portraying that very well so i love that i love life lessons in anime and anything that i watch anything that i consume i like to learn something from it whether it be good whether it be bad but you know what i'm saying like at least you learn something so thank you guys so much for tuning in man this episode was was good it was fire it was definitely one of the best episodes of the season so far um because of the message there was no action necessarily except for like the beginning of the episode when they showed 
Sukimoto destroying everybody in the tournament. So that was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he, he was just destroying everybody because he's just, he's too good. And now they've dubbed him Mr. Robot, Dragon vs. Robot, as I was talking about in the intro. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward for Comeback Peko, of course, because he was one of the characters that I was looking forward to seeing in the series. And to see him give up wasn't the best thing for, for me watching the anime because I was actually rooting for him because he's naturally talented at something. All he needs to do is work just as hard as Sukimoto and he'll probably be on that level too or even better or on even Kazuma's level because he has the talent for it. He just got beat one time. Oh my lord, my life is over and most talented people are like that. So Shout out to Peko, man, for, for the comeback. for uh, And we're going to get to see the old lady that's been bringing up all of these great players. Um, Sakuma, Sukimoto, they all learned to play table tennis in that freaking gym. So I want to see how she she trains people. So that's going to be cool to see her actually train Peko. That's going to be really cool. I hope she pr puts him through the ringer and gets him to understand like just like what um home man 70 year old man coach is doing with sukimoto i'm guessing i, I want to see the same kind of intensity with peko okay so thank you guys for tuning in man this anime is good hope you guys are enjoying it you everybody that has been watching it has been you know not everybody was leaving comments but um if you watch this this review make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe if you're new of course don't forget to subscribe man you know I pay attention to my analytics. There's a lot of people watching my videos that didn't subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, man. And if you get a chance, if you can, join the Discord. Leave your suggestions over there. Eventually, I'll get to all of that stuff. There's a long list of suggestions over there. Just look through the list. If you see that what, what you're about to suggest is already there, by all means, you know, you don't have to put it there, but you'll know what's already there, so you don't have to put it there because i'm kind of doing stuff in order from the suggestions over on the discord so um there's certain stuff that i do that i do skip because you know things on the channel are kind of like separated into into categories of sorts so you know so I, i'm just waiting so thank you guys for watching as always your terror squad i am mr by react and i will see you guys for the next ping pong the animation reaction yes sir Thank <laughs> you.